Imagine this. You're in the final over. Your team needs 11 runs and the undefeated Giants are just a wicket away from victory. The crowd's on edge. And then, Terence Hines delivers a thunderous six to shatter the unbeaten run. This is the kind of CPL magic that leaves you breathless. Today, we're breaking down how Trimbago Knight Riders pulled off an unforgettable win against Barbados Royals. Buckle up, because this is one ride you don't want to miss. The Royals' Struggles Barbados Royals started with a real nightmare. Raheem Cornwall? Out for a duck. That's three ducks in a row for him, and the innings hadn't even settled before Alec Athanase followed right after. Two wickets down in just four balls. Quinton de Kock and Rivaldo Clark tried to stabilise things, but it was Akil Hossein and Wakar Salamkeel who kept the Royals on their toes. Hossein was brilliant early on, and Salamkeel's wrongen to dismiss de Kock was pure magic. Despite the early blows, Rovman Powell led from the front. His unbeaten 59 off 38 balls was the glue that held the innings together. But with only 156 sevenths on the board, could it really be enough? Knight Riders. Strategy and setbacks. The Knight Riders knew what they had to do. With dew setting in, chasing looked like a smart call. But that plan quickly took a hit when Sunil Nareen holed out on the very first ball. And then, Jason Roy, who looked like he might be ready to take charge with a couple of stunning drives, got bamboozled by Mahesh Thikshana. The game was delicately poised, and after a rain delay, Nicholas Puran tried to take control. His 35 off 23 balls brought some much-needed momentum, but then came one of the highlights of the match. A brilliant catch from Powell, who flicked the ball to Jason Holder just before going over the boundary. It was spectacular fielding, and it shifted the momentum right back to the Royals. Paris and Carty's efforts. After Puran's dismissal, Shakira Paris and Kisi Carty teamed up. They kept the scoreboard ticking, and for a while, the Knight Riders looked like they had things under control. Paris got a lifeline when Holder dropped him, but Thikshana came back to lure him into a false shot, triggering a collapse. Suddenly, the pressure was on. What looked like a comfortable chase was now teetering on the edge. The grandstand finish. With 11 runs needed off the final over, the Royals could almost taste victory. Akhail Hossein, the hero with the ball, was back at the crease, but fell with just three balls left and six runs still needed. It seemed like the game had slipped away. Then, the match swung again. Jason Holder bowled a waist-high full toss, and Terence Hines was gifted a free hit. And what did Hines do with that free hit? He sent the ball sailing over the boundary, a six to seal the victory. The local fans were stunned into silence, while the Knight Riders celebrated an incredible, nerve-jangling two-wicket win. What a thriller. Trinbago Knight Riders, last year's finalists, have once again shown why they are one of the most feared teams in CPL history. Akiel Hossein's all-round heroics, Wakar Salamkale's wizardry with the ball, and that match-winning six from Terence Hines. This is a game we'll be talking about for a long time. If you love this review and want to stay updated with more CPL action, hit that subscribe button and let us know in the comments, did you expect the Royals' unbeaten run to end like this? See you in the next one.